has numerous sort of opening app if you can speak only Ming Lava and Jizu that might not be impressive anymore. If it was like four or five years ago, people would be extremely delighted to hear you say such easy words. But I mean, even now people would still smile at you and they would be a little bit happy to hear you say such easy words, but it's not as impressive as before anymore. So I'm going to show you five useful phrases that locals would think you're good at picking up Burmese and I've chosen different phrases that you can use at different occasions so let's get this started That phrase means so cute. If you have ever read Japanese manga or anything Japanese, you might notice they always say kawaii everywhere. Same thing here, you can use it for anything adorable. You can use it to refer to a cute kid or a cute gift or a cute Korean singer or anything cute. So I'm going to pronounce it at normal speed five times, then I slow it down for you. Now listen to each word. Chi se ya li. 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 Hope you can now pronounce it. If you cannot, just replay it. Okay, let's see the examples. Chi se ya li. Chi se ya li. Okay, this phrase literally means it's very good to eat. In fact, it's equivalent to say something like it's delicious or it's yummy and you can use it after you have eaten anything edible like dinner or lunch or even a quick bite. After you eat it, you can say it, it's delicious. Okay, now listen to how we pronounce it at normal speed. Salu gong lai dan, salu gong lai dan, salu gong lai dan, salu gong lai dan, salu gong lai dan. Slow motion time. Salu. This would be a very useful phrase if you left shopping. Yes, this is something that you can use when you are haggling. In direct translation, it means please reduce some more, but in fact, it actually means something like any more discount or anything like that and when you're shopping for any Myanmar products and you think some products are a little bit pricey you can use this and at the same time you can impress the sailors and this is how we say it in normal speed Shoba on Shoba on Shoba on Shoba on Shoba on and when we say slowly Shoba on Shoba on Shoba on Shoba on It'd be kind of bitching if we native speakers keep on saying this, but if you non-native speakers say this, it would be extremely adorable for locals. It literally means my muscles are tired. But the weird thing is that there is no word called my muscle in that phrase, but it means my muscles are tired. Don't try to dig it out unless you like to specialize Burmese as your major. After all, language is arbitrary. So I'm going to say it at normal speed five times. Now like that. 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 Slowly. Now like that. 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 Example. Now like that. I'm 
I'm not cheating, guys. I'm not. I know that this is a single word and should not be considered as phrases. That's why I'm giving you three options, and all those three words mean yes, 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 and yes. But age does matter in Myanmar, and there are different criteria to define when to use which word. So let's start with hope. Okay, now you know hope means yes, but you should not use it to anyone younger than you or your subordinates because it has huge sense of politeness. You know, it's something that we reply with a yes to our parents or our teachers or at least whoever has higher rank than us at work. And if you use it to younger people, they might think you're being sarcastic or being funny or fooling around. And this is only one word, so I think slowing down is not required. Let's listen to it five times. Hope. Hope. Hope, hope, hope. Let's move on to mm. Mm means yes or okay, but you shouldn't use it to whoever older than you, which is opposite from the previous word ho, because it might sound impolite. And you can use it to your friends, close colleagues, or cousins, or you know, whoever has the similar rank with you or who are about the same age with you. And if you are a little bit more into Burmese, I'd like to give you that one advice for pronunciation. In English, we pronounce B-O-O-K as book, C-A-T as cat, D-O-D as dog. But in Myanmar, they would pronounce it something like book, get, dog. So you know, just remove out the last syllable of each word and your Burmese pronunciation might be improved a lot. So let's listen to mm five times. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, that's for the last word A. Remember not to use this with who are older than you or your employers or non-close colleagues and friends unless you're totally pissed off and like to be purposely rude. And that also means yes, but we usually use it with our close friends and who are younger than us or perhaps our employees. And that's the Burmese, not the pirate language, so we don't pronounce it as I, but A. A, 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 A. So that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video clip and if you'd like to know more anything about Myanmar culture or tradition or anything like that, just leave your comments below and I try to address it in our next videos. Ta-da!